Well, it was a bitter battle between two sitting councilmen in Brooklyn over who would win the race for the newly redrawn District 47. Justin Brannon came out on top and he claimed victory shortly after the polls closed last night. And Councilman Brannon was flanked by Democratic leaders, controller Brad Lander, City Council Speaker Adrian Adams during his victory speech. Not only is this a big win for him, but the Democratic Party as well. And Councilman Brannon is joining us this morning fresh off his victory lap. Very little sleep and appreciate you waking up early to chat with us. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's great to be here with you. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So, Councilman, let's talk about this. Despite the, the growing number of Republicans, right, in South Brooklyn, you did manage to win the race. I know it was a tight race at that. What does it say, really, about the voters in your district? I know you always say, and I listen to your speech very carefully, you know, on today when you wake up, you're representing everybody, Republicans and Democrats. But what does it mean overall? I mean, look, I think ultimately, you know, the people of my district want someone that's going to put their the neighborhood first, right? They're going to put the neighborhood before party, before your own personal power or personal ambition. That's just going to always do the right thing by your community um, at the most basic level. That's what it, that's what your job is as a council member. So, and that's what I do. My, my team and I, you know, really, like I ran for re-election the day after I won my last election by helping people and my team and I helping people every single day and doing constituent and services and and you know to, look my saying is that no problem is too big or too small right like whatever you're you're dealing with whatever agency you're fighting with in the city we're there to help you we're there to help navigate city government and we're on your side we work for the people so um, I think last night was a testament to that hard work and it was a culmination of that well I mean the Republicans though were, were hoping to gain some seats in the city council but clearly that didn't happen in this case. Um, Ari Kagan has he reached out to you? Have you had any conversations about possibly working together somehow? No I, I, I haven't gotten a call from him. I checked my missed calls. He, he hasn't called me which is sad. Um, look even if I didn't take Ari uh, even if I don't take Ari serious as a person, I took the race seriously mm -hmm. because he was an incumbent, you know, and, and, and I, he wasn't a nobody who came out of nowhere. He was an elected official. He was a Democratic elected official for over a decade. So we took the race very seriously uh, and we ran like underdogs. You know, we, we ran, you know, they say you run scared. And that, that was that's what we did. You know, we didn't take mm -hmm. anything for granted. We fought for every vote uh, and, and it paid off. You know, we saw some of the city's Democratic leaders come out and, and support you last night. They were flanked at your side when you were giving your, your speech last night. But you are at odds, and you kind of mentioned this in your speech last night with the Brooklyn Democratic Party leader. What does that exactly mean, and how do you see this playing out moving forward? I mean, look, I, I think that the, the county leader managed to galvanize the Brooklyn Democratic Party in a way that she hadn't intended, certainly, when she started attacking me and, and started amplifying my opponent's uh, talking but points. But why? Which I have no, I, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask her. I have no idea what, what the beef is about or mm. why she was trying to undermine me. Um, yeah, I'm the senior most member of the council who's from Brooklyn. Um, you know, I, I, I seem to, you know, I, I think you might, it might be a guy you might want to support in the city council. Um, you know, I, and I've always been a loyal Democrat, but but I'm loyal to my community or I'm not loyal to to a party leader. So look, I mean, at the end of the day, the party leader, your one main job is to elect and protect Democrats. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she did the opposite. She was she was trying to kill me. Well, clearly what she was saying didn't work this time around. Um, let's talk about this, though. I mean, you represent parts of Coney Island and Bath Beach. What are your priorities now as, as you head back to city council? I'm look, look, I, I managed to bring back over $250 million to my community over the past bunch of years, in investments in schools and parks and playgrounds and libraries and little leagues. I want to bring that same responsive leadership uh, to the people of Coney Island who, who really deserve so much better. Um, and, you know, and, and I'm not a savior, I'm a servant. And I want to be a vessel uh, f so that what the people in Coney Island want and what matters to them is going to matter to me. And I want people in Coney Island to know what it's like to be represented by someone who can really get things done and, frankly, is, is in the room where it happens. And I'm really looking forward to having that opportunity. All right. Well, congratulations to you once again. Keep us posted as you move forward now with this with the newly redrawn District 47. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Right on. Thanks, guys.